Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add a page from a SharePoint site as a tab in a team in Microsoft Teams. So this is a recently released feature that provides you with the ability to add custom pages that you design and built in a SharePoint online site as a tab in Microsoft Teams. Uh, this is a pretty handy feature um, aside from your standard tabs um, that appear when a team is created, your post tab, your files tab, and your wiki. Uh, before this feature was released, there really wasn't a way for you to create landing pages, if you will, in a team. And so now the ability to add SharePoint pages kind of satisfies that use case. So to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open this finance team in the SharePoint online view, just to show you what kind of custom pages we can add. So to do this, I'm going to click on my channel. I'm going to click on the files tab and I'm going to click on open in SharePoint. This is going to bring me into the SharePoint online view. So if you recall, uh, teams um, are a bunch of different components and one of those components is a SharePoint online site. This is where all of the files that are stored in a team are actually residing. And so what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to just quickly create a custom page and I'm going to do that by clicking on the pages button. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on new and I am going to create a new site page this is going to allow me to create um, a custom page that I can then embed in my team. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this site page a name and I'm gonna call this uh, Finance Team Updates. So this has a nice little um, header here that's easy to format. I am going to also change the image behind this header just by clicking on this little change image button. Um, and this is really cool. You can upload your own images or I can just pull a stock image from SharePoint uh, and I'm just going to look for something that is related to finance. And so there's some nice numbers. I'll just go ahead and grab that and I'm going to click on insert. And so this is really nice and easy for people to be able to create these custom pages. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this little plus sign and this is going to add, let me add in a new web part. So I'm going to click on it and I can choose from a bunch of different web parts. Again, web parts are sort of just um, apps, if you will, that you can use to customize um, your pages. So you can see here there's a whole bunch of stuff, uh, text, images, files, you know, document libraries, calendars. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to add a world clock. So, you know, perhaps my organization has uh, several different locations and I just want to make it easy for my team members to see the times. So I'm just going to add a world clock and add a few different uh, locations here. And let's add Dubai. All right, great. Um, and then what I'm also going to do now is again, I'm going to add another web part and um, maybe this time I'm going to add a news post. And this is just a good way for you to share updates with your um, team members. So I'm going to click on this news icon and uh, this allows you again to just share some information. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to click on the edit web part and this will allow me to customize some of these different options. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to just change the view to, um, what should I do here? Yeah, let's make it a list. All right, great. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna come up here and click on publish. So that's going to allow me to actually publish this page here. And so you can see here, I've got my nice little header, I've got my world clock, and then if I wanna create some news posts, I can go ahead and do that for team members to share information. So awesome, I've created my SharePoint Online custom page, and now I wanna embed this in my team for easy access. So I'm gonna open up my Teams app again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the add a tab, this little plus sign. This is going to let me uh, bring up all of the different apps and connectors that are available in Microsoft Teams. And in this case, I'm going to be looking for my SharePoint Pages connector or app. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. 
And now what it's going to do is it's going to ask me to find that custom page. And so you can see here, the first one that shows up is the finance teams updates. I'm gonna go ahead and select that and click save. And there you go. Um, I now have a custom web page that I was able to build in SharePoint Online and actually embed this in my team so that I can provide some information in a way, in a layout and structure that is conducive to, to my work uh, right through Microsoft Teams. So, well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like it. Please drop a comment below. And also, if you want to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks and talk soon.